Hello everyone, it's Kenneth here. Welcome to my quick simulation review of Raw, June 3rd. Raw started off with Stephanie McMahon talking in the ring about Triple H not fighting tonight. Then Miss McMahon came out and said, Please everyone, don't boo Stephanie. She is doing a great job, and she is right, Triple H can't fight tonight. Next moment. The Shield went 3 on 3 against The Viper, Randy Orton and Team Hell No. At the end of the match, Dean Ambrose hit his finisher and The Shield picked up the win again. Next moment. Daniel Bryan said to Kane that he had to prove that he is not the weakest link in their tag team. So Daniel Bryan said to Kane that he had to find an opponent for later tonight that he could fight in a singles match. Next moment. Jimmy and Jay the Usos went 2 on 2 against the primetime players. At the end of the match Jimmy hit his superfly and the Usos won the match. Next moment. Alberto Del Rio went 1 on 1 against Biggie Langston again. Del Rio hit his cross armbreaker, rolled him up and won the match. Impressive. Next moment. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus went 1 on 1 against Cody Rhodes, with Damien Sandow at commentary. Sandow said Cody was playing possum, but then he bah! hit the bro kick and won the match. Of course he did. After the match, Sheamus punched Sandow in the face and said bah! again. Next moment. Triple H left the arena after Stephanie McMahon and Vince McMahon told him that he couldn't compete tonight. He flied all this way for nothing, but he said to Stephanie that he wanted to compete next week. Next moment. Since Daniel Bryan had to prove he is not the weakest link in the tag team, he accepted a challenge by Ryback. Next moment. Paul Heyman thanked Vince McMahon for not putting Triple H in a match against Curtis Axel. But then Vince McMahon put Curtis Axel in a match against John Cena instead, in a no disqualification match. Next moment. Fun dum go went 1-on-1 one -on -one against the Great Kali. In the middle of the match Fandango tried to escape, but the Miss tried to stop him. Then Wade Barrett came out and gave the Miss a bullhammer elbow. After the bullhammer the Miss had a match against Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett got distracted by Fandango, the Miss hit his figure for leg lock and won the match. The Miss is awesome. Next moment. Chris Jericho and Paul Heyman had a contract signing about the Chris Jericho CM Punk match at Payback. After the contract was signed by both men, Chris Jericho put the contract down Paul Heyman's pants. Ugh. Next moment. The Bella Twins and AJ went 3 on 3 against the Funkadactyls and Caitlyn. At the middle of the match, AJ didn't make the tag and left Nikki behind. Then Caitlyn hit the spear and won the match. Damn it, I had the wrong attire for Caitlyn here. Oh my god, the trolls are gonna be. Uh -huh. Next moment. Kane said to Daniel Bryan that he didn't have to prove that he is not the weakest link. Daniel Bryan then said, I have to do this. The final moment has arrived. Daniel Bryan went 1-on-1 one -on -one against Ryback. Ryback put a table into the ring and powerbombed Daniel Bryan to the table. Daniel Bryan won by disqualification. When Ryback went for another table, John Cena came out and Ryback left the ring. Then he fighted Curtis Axel in a no disqualification match. At the end of the match, Ryback put Cena through a table and Curtis Axel won by countout again over John Cena. Show over.